Greetings, family, friends, and survivors. I have some questions. Now my batteries are three years old and the plates are perfectly clean. There's nothing floating in them. No visible sulfation, nothing like that. Now typically, for the last three years I've been doing very very light cycling like you see right now it's the batteries are at 90 percent and for two years two winters I would only let the batteries get down to 89 percent full 89 percent state of charge or an 11 percent DOD depth of discharge which is extremely light cycling. So here's my question. I've read on the internet, and that usually gets you in trouble, people quoting other engineers and so forth, that the best thing to do is every six months cycle your batteries to 50 or 60% state of charge, and thereby exposing new areas of plate and breaking up any sulfation that may have occurred. I don't know that that's true. I haven't had a, a manufacturer tell me that. What I did read from one uh, battery college, it's called, is that battery wear is a function of amps in and amps out. The more power it has had passing through the battery is that which ages the battery. So if that was true, very light cycling would be best. But if there's areas of the plate that never get used because of light cycling, then a deeper depth of discharge, maybe to 50%, would be good for the batteries periodically or maybe every six months. So I need to know, what do you think? And this is a question to those who live off-grid, have lived off-grid for a few years. Uh, hopefully somebody who's gone through a set of batteries or two and the lessons that they've learned. Um, I would rather burn a little bit of diesel fuel and keep my batteries uh, lasting longer. I have one friend who's been off-grid for 40 years and he came and he looked at my charge set points and he looks at, at what time I decide to charge them on a rainy day and he says, doing what you're doing, you should get 18 years out of your batteries because that's exactly what he did. I want to know for sure. So if anybody has had experience with batteries where you did light cycling versus uh, a deeper cycle, maybe to 50% periodically, and what were your results? What were your findings? I really want to know because I'd like to have these batteries last as long as possible. The lowest they've ever been was one time I went to 71% state of charge, one time. I'd say 99% of the time uh, I'm in the top, 80% uh, is the lowest I go, 99% of the time. And I'd say now and then I'll take them to 80 not very often they'll go to 80 percent state of charge and so i really need to know uh what what are you guys doing out there um, the issue that i have is i'll have uh seven days with no sun typically through the month of november and then from december uh, January and February I'll have up to 60 days in a row with no appreciable solar gain so that's generator time no matter how you look at it but it's the other times I know I could use a bigger battery bank that would allow me to get through the seven day period on autonomous where I don't run a generator and relying on solar but I only have 840 amp hours at 24 volts it's so about 20, 21 kilowatt battery bank. So I'm thinking about this week since we have on and off uh, showers and fog every morning, 
I'm thinking of this week of letting them go down to 60% and then uh, let them charge back up aggressively. So let me know what your thoughts are. I've already asked Mr. Gibbs and he says he doesn't care. Uh, he's really interested in where I was butchering chickens last and uh, he thinks that smelling of the chicken blood is just fascinating to him. He's not sure what to do with it and that's fine with me. TMI. Sorry about that. Have a blessed day, folks.